Business leaders and intellectual business community, we come to the second segment of our discussions for the second episode with Alexander Munke. He's an entrepreneur from Germany, and we talk the topic of how to inspire creatively. And uh, it has something to do with our daily life as a leader to inspire our subordinates, but often we don't think of how to do it with uh, creativity. That's why we ask Alex to give us some inspirations on how to do it with creativity. Uh, any questions from uh, audience? Please, Palan. Okay. Thank you. My name is Lan Teddy. Thank you, Dr. Bayu and Palan Dr. Alex. from where? From Sekolah Tinggi Media Komunikasi Trisakti. And uh, my questions, this is still about inspiring creatively. Um, it seems that you like playing the tools and also you are very good the way how to train people. And so which one is the first that you found? The training subject first or your tools first? Okay, That's good my question. question. Thank so you. Pak Lantedi is uh, coming from Sekolah Tinggi Media Komunikasi. And Sekolah Media Tinggi Media Komunikasi is uh, the college or the uh, college levels of uh, uh, university and university levels yeah. for those who really wants to pursue the career in the uh, communications media. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, his question is, uh, which one comes first, the you know the need for training and then you develop the tools, mm -hmm. or you have some tools and you develop the training surrounding the tools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, when I like when I get a phone call, right, and a company calls, no matter what brands, yeah. because I do people seminars, uh -huh. so I'm in the insurance industry mm -hmm. just as much as I am in the car industry or in the hospitality industry. Then they, of course, tell me what is their goals, okay. what is their wished results, mm -hmm. and after that, maybe we even talk about that on the telephone. And when it's more, more like it needs more input, then I go to the companies in order to inform myself. What is the surroundings? What is the, the climate in the business? How many people are there? And what are their wished results? Then I would go back and develop uh -huh. for this subject, develop my training. Yep. It's either for two times two days or yeah. he says well we don't have so much time because our people have right. to work so we need one big session okay. and, and then I think about that so I get information of course okay. about and then you develop the, the company tools. and then I develop the, okay. the tools. Yeah. Alex uh, uh, can you give us some inspirations for us as executives and CEOs often we found that our employees mm -hmm. yeah don't have enough drive mm. to become better, yeah. you know, to move on with the career. And we often see them, they, you know, they just enjoying their daily work without the dream to become mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. better. Yeah. So how can you give us a trick how to, you know, how yeah. to send this message yeah. Yeah. with your tools? Yeah. Well, first of all, we need to find out, because I have heard so many people in leadership, my people are not motivated, my people are not willing to work, so what can I do to make them move? First of all, <sighs> a good question would be, would you like to develop your capabilities? And do you remember what we agreed upon when you were hired into this company? So some people work in the company five, eight, ten years, and maybe by the time, you know, it's kind of getting boring, I'm coming to work, doing my job, and then leaving my job, and the next day I go back to work. So we need to find, or to, to wake up the interest in order to get them going again, like we said, yeah. some are not motivated enough. So how do we do that? First of all, we need to make sure that our employees can see the wished results. What is the goal of the company? And that's the job of leadership. That's why we are the leaders. 
asking our employees high quality questions and maybe using the chicken and the eagle and make them know that they were born as eagles, not as chicken. Do you remember when we started our works together, 8, 10, 15 years ago? You remember what we were talking about goals and about our standards in this company. We have talked about certain principles. Mm -hmm. We have agreed upon how we work together. You remember? Then the employee would go, yes, I remember. Okay. Now, and this is dangerous. We must not come across as wanting to criticize in a, in a bad way. Yeah, it's like pointing with the fingers. Mm. So we need to ask high quality questions in order to get this employee awake again and curious as well. Wow. Now he talks to me, he asks me questions, now I am important. And I think this is a message that we have to give our employees the, the serious feeling that they are important, that we believe in them, that we tell them you are an eagle, you mm. were born as a winner, that's why we hired you here. Mm. Now, and I want to continue the good work with you. Mm -hmm. So. If, of course, you perform like a chicken, if you are not willing, if you are not like inspired, enlightened, then tell me, what can I do <laughs> to inspire you? What can I do? Help me. So if we ask these questions, we get some answers from the employees. What I found out through my job mm -hmm. in Germany, in Austria, in Switzerland, in leadership, there is not enough high quality questions asked. All right. That's what we have to do. We need to ask people in order we know that everybody is an eagle, that's why we hire them, but some are maybe small eagles and we need to develop the skills okay. more and more through leadership. Okay, so the, the, the conclusion is that uh, when you send a message it's better through questions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, Alex, again, we have to have a, a little break for the commercials. Mm -hmm. uh, business leaders and intellectual business community, please uh, participate by SMS to 08128 555 We break for the next segment. Yeah.